Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Just getting the morning going here at Falcon State Park. Those uh, hills in the distance are Mexico. Rio Grande is about 100 yards down the slope here. I'm America's first defense against illegal immigration. <laughs> Been living in my F-150 with a Lear Topper for about two years. Hey, Philip Morris, do me a favor. Roll my intro. guys i got my breakfast taken care of and uh got the back all organized cleaned up spray some febreze in there just in case a border patrol agent has to crawl in there and look for anything illegal i had a little mercy on him straightened it up made sure it didn't stink too bad uh it's been three days since i changed my sheets and uh i am due i gotta change those sheets at least twice a week from all the moisture and me sleeping in there so uh, I don't, don't want to asphyxiate myself with my own stench. So I really try to keep my truck as clean as possible. Yeah, this was a nice little spot. Super quiet. They have a butterfly garden here, and it's not really a butterfly time of the year. But um, I've come by here several times, and there's been uh, different people here working on it. So it really is... A nice area. They plant uh, plants that um, attract butterflies, and they do migrate through here. That's a pretty neat little structure. Structure? 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 There you go. I'm going to learn this language one day, guys. I, I plan on mastering English before I'm done making videos. But uh, there's a lot of uh, unique butterflies here. Do you know how you uh, capture a unique butterfly? Unique up on it. Yep, unique up on it. There you go, guys. Comedy gold right there, people. <laughs> it's kind of overcast, but they're saying it's going to uh, burn off today. I think I'm ready to hit the road. Um, yeah, I'm ready for a little road trip. And uh, check out the other side of the garden. I mean, you know what? Even without butterflies, that is just a beautiful garden. Very well uh, cared for and maintained. The old butterfly garden. Absolutely beautiful. I think that's pretty cool. I like I like little things like that. Um, yeah, the water level's down here. And uh, not to badmouth anyone, I got too many chatty neighbors, and that is not including Rusty. I do enjoy talking to Rusty. I actually went over and bothered him and surprised him at his site the other night, so he didn't know I was coming, so I, he probably had the mind changer all ready to go. Yeah, I just had a couple visitors that instead of dropping by and saying hi for a minute or two, it was hours, and they were back to back to back. Well, guys, if you remember in yesterday's video, I said my spidey sense was going off. Uh, it's completely off right now because something actually did happen. Fortunately, I wasn't directly involved. Uh, there was a car in front of me. I kept it about 50 yards in front of me. Uh, it was driving on the shoulder, but the regular speed. And I think it thought the shoulder was a lane because it wasn't, you know, a different color or anything. Uh, all of a sudden, at about 70 miles an hour, a sharp right-hand turn, it does a complete 270, goes up an embankment, comes to a dead stop, and I slow down, and I'm looking at the guy, giving him hand signs, hey, are you okay? And he's looking at me panicking and just kept flooring it and flooring it and flooring it, which tells me he either doesn't have a legal license or he's in the country illegally or there's some reason he wants to get out of there before the cops come. So I kept going. He had a cracked windshield and he lost his bumper, but I uh, I wasn't getting involved in all that. He was moving. He was okay. I didn't see blood. And uh, yeah, I uh, drove away. 
With that pleasant story, I'm in the city of uh, Rio Bravo. I wanted to come here because it's a John Wayne movie. And uh, just before I pulled in here, I was Googling online, getting information. This town was only founded less than 40 years ago. Uh, and it's um, pretty, uh, yeah, well, you can see what it is. Um, a lot of potholes. That's City Hall right there. Just a ton of sheriffs and border patrol. Well, in the Houston Chronicle this morning, they raided a house here that was involved in human trafficking. People, uh, kind of the Underground Railroad for a border crossing, if you will. And um, different reports in different papers. The Chronicle said over 50 people were arrested. But uh, that's Mexico at the end of this town. It goes from the highway straight to the water, four streets, nothing on either side of it. And uh, yeah, that is Mexico, folks. That, that little stream of water, that's the Rio Grande as it runs through Rio Bravo. Uh, in Mexico, they call the Rio Grande the Rio Bravo. That's what I've been told. But here they have Border Patrol lights. And just in this little four-block area, there's two uh, Border Patrol cars stationed. And in the middle of the Rio Grande right here, I mean, you could easily just walk across it. Um, there are uh, some of them. There's just sandbar islands, you know, that have shrubs and stuff. I'll see if I can get closer and get us a good shot of that. But that's actually part of Mexico. So they could literally leave, you know, the land there. And it is beautiful over there. <laughs> good job, Mexico. Um you could walk, you, you, you see those little islands right there, kind of in the middle? That's actually Mexico as well. The border starts on this side in this particular area. So you would have, what, 20 feet of water to cross, and you're in the United States. There's no border wall here. There wasn't any border wall at uh, uh, Falcon Lake. Um, up in Laredo, there's a border wall. But, yeah, Rio Bravo going to drive up and uh, continue the adventure. Let's see where we go next. But it was beautiful down by the water, and I liked my little John Wayne moment that I had there. Yeah, um, very pretty down by the water. It was. It's nice to see the Rio Grande and the Mexico side's beautiful. Of course, the whole, uh, the town of Rio Bravo, it's just I don't know. I just thought it was going to be one of those towns that was there a hundred years and it was uh, created by a developer in 1980. So, or 1982, maybe so less than 40 years ago, uh, less than 4,700 people live there. And, um, I think it's 1200 homes and most of them have uh, multiple kids. So, um, I don't know that everything just looked older than 40 years to me, you know, but Let's go see something pretty. I did enjoy the river, though. Beautiful. Well, guys, this is something a little bit different. I saw something really cool looking online. And uh, since we're in the general area, I thought I would come check it out. This is this is a mouthful, first of all. This is Texas A&M Texas A International University at Laredo. There's the Science Center, and uh, some of the students don't even know where this is. <laughs> I thought this structure was really cool. It's the entrance to the planetarium, right by the entrance to the planetarium. You don't see these much in Texas. So he's a visitor. He's not native. But, uh, yeah, and uh, if you don't know what a planetarium is... Uh, I used to go to one in uh, Philadelphia, and uh, at least the ones I know about and from the descriptions online, uh, it's kind of similar to a movie theater, except the chairs kind of recline, and you're looking at a domed screen on the ceiling, and they show educational films, space, science, and on the weekends for the students, they'll have like rock concerts and shows set to the music, and uh, it's pretty cool. And I didn't expect to see a deer here today, but there's a deer uh, right between the pole 
and the tree just to the left of the pole. There he is. See him moving a little bit? That's pretty cool. A beautiful campus. And uh, I had to ask three groups of students just how to get here. And I got uh, three really bad directions. <laughs> but um, with bad knees, I was able to park maybe 60 yards away, 70 yards away. They only had two handicap spots, and they were both taken. But fortunately, um, I was able to get a close spot. Yeah, but they had me walking a half a mile, a quarter mile. And they were telling me, you know, park here. This is what I thought. All right, this is interesting. Face coverings required. That's like a permanent sign. That's not like a temporary sign. And this kind of made me think, how long is this going to be going on for, you know? Um, I just thought I'd throw that in and, and that could be an easy thing, thing to chain out, but it wasn't, it wasn't a taped up sign like I'm used to seeing, you know? So we could be in this hall for a while, guys. Little clock tower. It's a beautiful campus. I, I really did enjoy it. Uh, everyone I talked to was friendly. I talked to two 18 year olds and they did not know who Pink Floyd was. Kids today, we're all doomed. Apparently... They do need an education. <laughs> Pretty neat. I wonder if Clark Kent works there.